Intermediate Accounting Chapter 9 Investments Chapter 9 Investments 1 of 2 After studying this chapter, you should be able to 1. Understand the nature of and basic accounting for investments, including which types of companies have significant investments. 2. Explain and apply the cost slash amortized cost model of accounting for investments. 3. Explain and apply the fair value through net income model for accounting for investments. 4. Explain and apply the fair value through other comprehensive income model of accounting for investments. 5. Explain and apply the incurred loss, expected loss, and fair value loss impairment models. Chapter 9 Investments 2 of 2 after studying this chapter, you should be able to 6. Explain the concept of significant influence and apply the equity method. 7. Explain the concept of control and when consolidation is appropriate. 8. Explain how investments are presented and disclosed in the financial statements, noting how this facilitates analysis. 9. Identify differences in accounting between IFRS and ASPE and what changes are expected in the near future. Investments, understanding investments, types of investments, types of companies that have investments, information for decision making, measurement overview. Measurement, cost slash amortized cost model, fair value through net income, FVNI model, fair value through other comprehensive income, FV-OCI model, impairment models, strategic investments, investments in associates, investments in subsidiaries, presentation, disclosure, and analysis, presentation and disclosure, analysis, IFRS ASPE comparison, a comparison of IFRS and ASPE looking ahead, type of investments, companies hold investments, to have the capital appreciate, to earn dividends and or income. Two basic types of investment, debt instruments. Companies pay cash up front and obtain the right to receive interest and to return of principal. Includes investments in government and corporate bonds, convertible debt and commercial paper. Equity instruments. Companies pay cash up front and receive rights to dividends to vote, and to residual assets upon liquidation. Equity instruments represent ownership interests in companies, for example, common stock, preferred stock, and the rights to acquire or dispose of ownership interests, for example, warrants, rights, and call options. Types of companies that have investments. Companies that have investments those wanting the returns provided by investments, interest, dividends, capital appreciation. Those looking to influence or control other companies, corporate strategy. Banks, invest funds deposited by customers at a rate higher than their cost of capital. Buy and sell investments over the short term for profit, trading. Pension funds, insurance companies. Companies that don't have investments Excess cash is used to reinvest in the business, retire debt, or pay dividends. Information for decision making. Nature and risk of various investments are different. Decision makers need to know how significant the investments are and how much income, both realized and unrealized, is being earned. Information should be included in the financial statements either in notes or in the statement of financial position. How investments are accounted for. Type of instrument, management's intent, corporate strategy, ability to reliably measure the investment's fair value. Measurement overview one of two. As for other assets, Investments are recognized and measured initially at fair value at acquisition. The price paid to acquire an asset is usually considered to be its fair value. The price of a debt instrument is quoted as a percentage of its par or face value. Example, 
The fair value of a 25,000 face value bond at 99% equals 0.99 times 25,000 equals 24750. Shares traded on the stock exchange are usually quoted at their market price, which is the fair value. Unrealized holding gains or losses arising from fair value measures after acquisition are only realized when the asset is disposed of. Measurement Overview 2 of 2 Transaction costs related to an acquisition can be expensed immediately or added to the cost of the asset acquired, capitalized. Transaction costs are not included in the fair value amount at subsequent revaluations. After acquisition, changes in fair value carrying amount are called unrealized holding gains or losses. Such gains and losses are only realized at disposal. Models for accounting for investments. 1. Cost slash amortized cost model. 2. Fair value with unrealized gains and losses recorded through net income, fair value through net income, or other comprehensive income, FVOCI. Equity method. Investments, less than significant influence. Investments are classified by the level of influence that is exercised by the investor. Measurement, cost slash amortized cost model. The cost of the initial investment is recognized at its fair value plus transaction costs. Holding gains are recognized only when realized as are holding losses unless the investment is impaired. Reported at its cost or amortized cost as either a current asset or a long-term investment. Amortized cost model applies only to investments in debt instruments long-term notes, and long-term receivables. Cost model may be applied to investments in equity instruments shares of other companies. Cost slash amortized cost model, investment in shares of other entities, one of two. Application of the cost model for investments in shares of another entity. One, recognize cost of investment at fair value of shares acquired plus direct transaction costs. Two, report at cost unless impaired on each statement date. Three, recognize dividend income when the entity has the right to receive a dividend. Four, derecognize upon disposal and report any gain or loss on disposal in net income. When shares are purchased at various times and costs, Use an average carrying value at disposal. This is required under ASPE. Cost amortized cost model investment in shares of other entities 2 of 2. On March 8, Casey purchases 1,000 shares of HC at $4.25 with a 1.5% commission charged for the transaction. On July 11, Casey sells 800 of the HC shares for 508 and pays a 1.5% commission. A. What cost should Casey assign to the purchase when they are acquired? 4314. B. What, co what would be the journal entry Casey records on the date the shares are sold? Receipt from sale, 4003. Disposal of the shares, 3451. Gain on disposal, 552. Debit cash, 4003. Credit other investments, 3451. Credit gain on disposal of investments, cost slash amortized cost, 552. Cost slash amortized cost model, investments in debt instruments of other entities, one of six. When the cost model is applied to debt instruments, it is called the amortized cost model. Any difference between the acquisition cost and the face value of the instrument, discount or premium, is amortized over the period to maturity. Amortized cost is the amount recognized at acquisition minus principal repayments plus or minus the cumulative amortization of any discount or premium minus any impairment charges. 
Investments in debt securities accounted for under the amortized cost model are sometimes called held to maturity investments. Cost slash amortized cost model, investments in debt instruments of other entities, two of six. Application of the amortized cost model to debt instruments. One, recognize initial cost of investment at fair value plus direct transaction costs. Two, report subsequently at amortized cost as well as any outstanding interest receivable unless impaired. Three, recognize interest income as earned, amortizing any discount or premium by adjusting carrying amount of investment. Four, when disposing of investment, first bring accrued interest and discount premium amortization up to date, then derecognize investment and report any gain or loss on disposal. Cost slash amortized cost model, investments and debt instruments of other entities, three of six. January 1, 2020, Robinson pays 92278 to purchase 100,000 of CC 8% bonds. Market interest rate is 10%. Bonds mature on January 1, 2025. Interest is paid on January 1st and July 1st. Robinson used amortized cost model, effective interest method. Semi-annual interest equals 4,000. Proceeds is the present value 92278, and you'll use your financial calculator to do that. The 8% interest plus the bond discount of 7722, 100,000 minus 92278, will bring the effective interest rate to 10%. The entry to record the purchase is debit bond investment at amortized cost 92278, credit cash 92278. Note the discount of 7722, 100,000 minus 92278, is not required to be recorded or reported separately. It is amortized over the life of the bond. The effective interest method is used to amortize the premium or discount required under IFRS. ASPE also allows straight line method of amortizing premium or discount. Cost slash amortized cost model, investments and debt instruments of other entities, five of six. Refresher on effective interest and straight line methods for calculating interest income. Under the straight line method, a constant amount of interest income is recognized each period. Every period for 10 periods, you have cash of 4,000, amortization of 772, and interest income is 4772. Under the effective interest method, a constant rate of interest is recognized each period. So for period one, it's 4614, period two, it's 4645, and period three, it's 4677. Cost slash amortized cost model, investments and debt instruments of other entities, six of six. Amortized cost model, sale of a bond. When an investment is sold, the carrying value has to be updated for any discount or premium amortization and any accrued interest. Gain or loss on sale, is the difference between the selling price and the updated carrying amount. Journal entry to update bond with discount. Debit interest receivable, debit bond investment at amortized cost, credit interest income. Journal entry to record the sale. Debit cash, credit interest receivable, credit bond investment at amortized cost, credit gain on disposal of investments, cost slash amortized cost. Measurement, fair value through net income, FVNI model. Fair value through net income, FVNI, also referred to as fair value through profit or loss, FVTPL, in IFRS. At acquisition, investment recorded at fair value. Transaction costs are expensed. At each reporting date, 
FVNI investments are adjusted to current fair value with net holding gains or losses recognized in net income. Under IFRS, earned interest and dividend income and any holding gain or loss on the investment may be reported together as investment income. ASPE requires separate reporting. Most companies record separately to aid in preparation of tax returns. Fair value through net income FV-NI model investment in a bond, one of three. When recognizing interest income separately from gains or losses, any discount or premium must be amortized before the change in fair value is recognized. The investment account is kept at fair value and the amortize inf amortization information is kept in supplementary records. Example, fair value NI model minus investment in a bond interest bearing. Assume that a company purchases 100,000 10% five-year bonds of Graf Corporation on January 1, 2020 with interest payable on July 1st and January 1st. The bond sells for 108,111, resulting in a bond premium of 8,111 and an effective interest rate of 8%. Assume that at December 31st, 2020, the fair value of the Graf Corporation bonds is 105,000. Fair value through net income, FVNI model, investment in a bond, two of three. The entry to record the purchase of the bond. Debit FVNI investments, 108111. Credit cash, 108111. And we'll use our financial calculators to do that. The amortization schedule is below. Recording interest and bond amortization. July 1, 2020, you have debit cash 5,000, credit fair value through NI investments 676, credit interest income 4324. December 31, 2020, you have debit interest receivable 5,000, credit fair value through NI investments 703, Credit Investment Income 4297. Fair Value Through Net Income FVNI Model Investment in a Bond 3 of 3. To determine the gain or loss on fair value adjustment, you would take the carrying amount before fair value adjustment, 106732, the fair value as at December 31, 2020, 105000. Fair value adjustment needed, 1732 credit. To record the fair value adjustment at December 31st, 2002, or 2020, you would debit investment income or loss of 1732 and credit fair value through NI investments, 1732. Fair value through net income, FINI model, FBNI model, investment in treasury bill. For a non-interest bearing debt, for example, treasury bills, that is held for short-term trading, the investment income is the difference between the purchase price and its maturity value. Example, FVNI model investment in treasury bill. Assume that Investor Inc. pays 19231 on March 15th for a 20,000 six-month treasury bill that matures on September 15th. The investment, purchased to yield an 8% return, is designated as an FVNI investment. The journal entry on March 15th would be debit FVNI investments 19231 and credit cash 19231. The journal entry on September 15th would be debit cash 20,000, credit FI, FVNI investments for 19231 and credit the gain on disposal of investments FVNI 769 fair value through net income FVNI model investment in securities one of two for investments in equity securities or shares dividends paid 
and fair value adjustments are recognized in the investment income or loss account. For example, FBNI model investment in portfolio of securities. So we have a list of investments at their carrying amount as at December 31st, 2020, and at their fair value amount as at December 31st, 2020. The adjustment needed to the portfolio to bring it to fair value at December 31st, 2020 is the difference, which is a 3750 debit. Fair value adjustment at year end debit fair value through NI investments 3750 and credit investment income or loss 3750. Fair value through net income FVNI model investment in securities two of two. Example FVNI model sale and purchase of securities. See previous example data. Now assume one, the Genesta bonds are sold for 174000 on February 4th, their interest payment date, and two, 1,000 shares of Next were acquired at their fair value of 49990 The journal entry to record the sale would be debit cash 174000, debit loss on disposal of investments, fair value through NI 1200, and credit fair value through net income investments 175200. Fair value of the investment is 175200 as per table on previous slide. Journal entry to record purchase debit fair value NI investments 49990 and credit cash 49990. Measurement fair value through other comprehensive income. FVOCI 1 of 2. At acquisition, investments are recognized at fair value plus transaction costs. Investments are reported as current or long-term assets depending on marketability and management intent. At each reporting date, fair value through OCI investments are adjusted to current fair value and any holding gain or loss is recognized in other comprehensive income OCI net of income tax. Accumulated holdings or gains and losses are reported in accumulated OCI, which is a separate item under shareholders equity. Measurement, fair value through other comprehensive income, FVOCI 2 of 2. When investments are disposed, previously unrealized holding gains or losses need to be transferred out of OCI and AOCI. Under fair value through OCI with recycling, unrealized holding gains or losses are transferred or recycled into net income and as a part of net income closed into retained earnings used for debt investments. Under fair value through OCI without recycling, unrealized holding gains or losses are transferred directly into retained earnings bypassing net income used for equity investments. Fair value through OCI investment in a portfolio of shares one of two. So we have a list of our shares and we have fair value and cost at acquisition. On December 6, 2019, the company receives a cash dividend of 4,200 on its investment in the common shares of Columbia Soup. So you would debit fair value through OCI investments 718550 and credit cash for 718550 that records the purchase and then you would debit cash for 4200 and credit dividend revenue 4200 that records the dividend. Fair value through OCI investment in a portfolio of shares sale of shares example See previous example data. Now assume that the company sells all of its Nova Industries LTD common shares on January 23, 2020, receiving proceeds of 287220. Investment in Nova shares was adjusted to fair value 
of 275000 on December 31st, 2019. To adjust to fair value on date of the sale, you debit fair value through OCI Investments 12220, credit unrealized gain or loss through OCI 12220. To remove the investment from the account, you would debit cash for 287220 and credit fair value through OCI Investments for 287220. To transfer the accumulated other comprehensive income without recycling, you would debit AOCI and credit retained earnings. Fair value through OCI, investment and debt instruments of other entities one of five. Income from fair value through OCI investments debt instruments. Interest income is recognized in net income. Amortization of premium and discounts and impairment losses are recognized directly in net income. Remeasurement gains and losses are recycled through net income when the investment is disposed of. Example, fair value through OCI model investment in bonds. Assume that a company purchases 100,000 10% five-year bonds of Graph Corporation on January 1, 2020 with interest payable on July 1st and January 1st. Interest payment is 5,000. The bond sells for 108,111, resulting in a bond premium of 8,111 and an effective interest rate of 8%. To record the purchase, you would debit FV OCI investments for 108,111 and credit cash for 108,111. FVOCI investment in debt instruments of other entities 205. Example, fair value through OCI model investment in bonds. To record the interest on July 1st, you would debit cash for 5,000. You would credit fair value through OCI investments for 676 and you would credit interest income for 4324. To record interest receivable on December 31st, you would debit interest receivable for 5,000. You credit fair value through OCI investments of 703, and you would credit interest income of 4297. On December 31st, the carrying value of the bonds would be 106732. If the fair value of the bond was 105,000 on December 31st, an unrealized gain or loss through OCI of 1732 would be recognized. FVOCI, Investment and Debt Instruments of Other Entities, 3 of 5. Example, fair value through OCI model investment in a portfolio of bonds. When revaluing a portfolio of bonds, if the value of the portfolio is lower than the amortized cost, an unrealized loss must be recognized. So here's a table of amortized cost and fair value. Fair value is lower than amortized cost, so a loss of 9537 will need to be recognized. The unrealized gain of the Chan bonds is netted with the unrealized losses of the Anacomp bonds the unrealized loss that is reported is the 9537. Fair value through OCI, investment and debt instruments of other entities 4 of 5. Sale of fair value through OCI investments debt instruments. If a fair value through OCI security is sold before maturity, it must be derecognized. Three journal entries are required. Revalue the investment to fair value. Recognize the sale. Because this is a bond, accumulated unrealized loss must be recycled through net income. That's IFRS 9. Example, fair value through OCI model, portfolio of bonds, sale of bonds. Continuing the previous example, the Chan bonds are sold on July 1st of the following year for 90000 with amortized cost of 94214 Prepare the journal entries to record the sale. 
Fair value through OCI, investment and debt instruments of other entities, five of five. Sale of fair value through OCI investments, debt instruments. One, revalue the investment to fair value. Determine gain or loss. So you would debit unrealized gain or loss, OCI, for 14277 and credit fair value through OCI investments for 14277. Two, recognize the sale. Debit cash 90,000, credit fair value through OCI investments for 90,000. Three, reclassify accumulated other comprehensive income to net income. So you would debit loss on disposal of investments fair value through OCI for 4214 and credit unrealized gain or loss through OCI for 4214. Summary of three major models of accounting for investments. At for, so for with the cost and amortized cost model, at acquisition, measure at cost, which is equal to the fair value plus transaction costs. With the fair value through net income, you would record at fair value, but with the fair value through OCI, you would record at fair value but the transaction costs tend to be added at acquisition. At each reporting date, measure at, so for the cost model, cost or amortized cost, and for the other two models, measure at fair value. When you report unrealized holding gains and losses or changes in fair value, there's no journal entry for the cost amortized cost model. With the fair value through net income, you record it through net income, and with the fair value through OCI, you record it through OCI. When you report realized holding gains and losses, under both the cost and amortized cost model and the fair value through net income, it's recorded through net income. But with the fair value through OCI, you transfer the total realized gains and losses to net income if it's recycled, or directly to retained earnings if it's not recycled.